Hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial. This is what we're going to be doing today, taking off from what we did in our previous lesson. Remember, we had imported an OBJ file with the shape of the sphere. We had also created a solid that has applied to it trap code form effect. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is making this sphere materialize. Okay, so we select the solid layer, we go to effects window, we go to fractal fill and we're going to be modifying the displays and the flow on X. Then we will move to disperse and twist and we will disperse the particles, like if they were stardust. Now we will move to second number four, where our animation will start. Okay, we are in second number four. So now let's go to quick maps attribute because we are going to be controlling the animation through the quick maps options that we have in the trap code form effect. Okay, so map number one, we're going to select disperse strength, map over in this case Y. We're going to put a keyframe on map number one offset. Then we will move to second number five, put the offset down to zero. And now on the map number one, we're going to draw the shape that we want the particles to behave, fading in and out. So as we can see, I mean, it's very slow in the preview, but the particles are forming the shape that we had. Okay, so then we are going to apply fractal strength on map number two, also over the Y axis. We will go to second number four, keyframe the offset, then we will move to second number five and offset to zero. Now we will draw the shape of the curve that we want the particles to behave. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to try to see how it's looking. Now by clicking V and N, I'm cutting the preview area. So I'm going to increase it, pressing N. I mean, we did it very simple, but I think it's very self-explanatory of the potential of this plugin, doing these things to make things like materialize or like disappear. I hope this was useful for you and you learned something and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.